Good Wednesday morning, South Florida. A wet day ahead. Already some rain out there. We have slick conditions and spots. What a beautiful sunrise from our Miami camera. Very dramatic. Earlier, mostly cloudy. And now the sun is trying to break through there, but still dealing with some wet weather and spots. And the reason the rain chance will remain high today and tomorrow is that we have this frontal boundary that is going to slowly creep in across the state. And that's going to help to pump in plenty of moisture and keep us unsettled through tomorrow. In addition to some of those showers and storms, a coastal flood advisory in place through tonight. Tide levels remaining above normal and we'll see the potential for street flooding along the beaches the next high tide anywhere between 9 to 11 a.m. and then 9 to 11 p.m. It is a warm and muggy start, 80 in Pompano Beach and Marathon, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, 74 in Kendall, 76 in Miami. The breeze has lightened up a bit, anywhere from 8 to 13 miles per hour. Should not be as windy as we saw yesterday, but still going to deal with that onshore breeze today. Highs will soar to the upper 80s, summer humidity in place with storms around, so keep the umbrellas close by. And boaters, seas two to four, a moderate chop on the bays. For tonight, lows in the upper 70s, and showers likely uh, warm and sticky again. And again tomorrow, we'll see another round of rain and some storms. As we get into Friday, spotty showers. In fact, the rain chance will start to decrease as we head into the weekend, just in time for all your Halloween festivities. Highs will be in the mid 80s, and don't forget daylight saving time. This Saturday night, you turn those clocks back an hour and gain an extra hour of sleep. You can always check in on the weather any time of day right here at CBSMiami.com.